It is estimated that more than 4 million vehicles flood and clog the streets and roads in the metropolitan area of the Mexican capital every day, leaving little peddling room for the thousands that opt for the bicycle. The motorists may not pay attention to us, and we might not see them either, so it is very dangerous. Motorists should know that their vehicles are much stronger than a bike. There's no comparison, and so they need to watch out for the cyclist. There's a lack of security by the authorities for us cyclists, and so we should have a law that protects us. Over the past five years, 1,636 cyclists have been killed throughout the country, with another 37,000 cyclists injured by vehicles. Many cyclists argue that there is a lack of culture and respect for those who choose alternative means of transport. We have a problem of respect, respect for life. In this country, if someone's head is cut off, nothing happens. There is no respect for one another. In December of 2015, Mexico City authorities implemented new traffic regulations as a means to reduce traffic-related accidents and deaths, grouping cyclists into a segment that needs further education on road regulations. We need to work a lot in giving capacitation towards cyclists. You all know that we are also are implementing a workshop for cyclists, and we need to make sure they do not traverse areas that could be dangerous. Yet cycling activists argue that ultimately motor vehicles and their infrastructure receive priority, even though studies show that at least 70 percent of commuters in the Mexican capital utilize some form of transportation that is not the car. And so the demand of the cycling community is obviously directed towards a culture of protection and respect for motorists and adequate infrastructure throughout the city. A coalition of civil organizations that promote cycling and alternative means of transport are lobbying the Mexico City government to adopt an $11.5 million urbanization plan that prioritizes sustainable mobility and public space for cyclists, motorists, public transport, and pedestrians. Clayton Cantalosur, Mexico City.